Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey Lidmar, it's Monday, February 20th, 2023. It's President's Day. Here's what's happening across the campus. Cheer on the boys varsity basketball team tonight as they begin the postseason, a sub-state game against Iowa, State, Iowa City Liberty. It's tonight at 7 in the main gym. Because it's a postseason game, you must buy your tickets online. No passes are accepted. LM Powerhouse says it's a beach out. Don't miss it tonight in the main gym. In other news, this is FFA week in Iowa. LMT's Reagan has the story. Last month at the 38th Annual Iowa FFA Legislative Symphonium and FFA Day at the Capitol, the governor signed the FFA Week proclamation. It officially declares February 18th through the 25th FFA Week in Iowa, a week to appreciate and celebrate the importance of agriculture, education, and the future of the AG industry in Iowa. If you'd like to learn more about our own FFA chapter and the exciting things FFA does, stop by and talk to Ms. Lemmer. Back to you. Thanks, Regan. This is Suicide Prevention Week. The Mental Health Matters Student Committee is planning awareness activities all this week. Remember, if you or someone you know needs to talk, the Student Assistance Team is here to help. Look for the posters throughout the building. We'll have more on Suicide Prevention Week all this week on LMTV. Attention former medals students, Mr. Brown has the CNC plasma table up and running. Please stop in and get your signs cut so you can take them home. If you have any questions, see Mr. Brown in the medals shop. In other news, the Spring Fling Dance is Saturday, March 4th. Dance date request forms for your non linmar dates are due this Thursday. And those are the LMTV headlines at this hour. I'm Leo with Linmar Sports. A shout out to boys wrestling. At the state tournament, our guys came in fourth overall in Class 3A. Five of our wrestlers made it to the finals. Braden Park, Kane Noctoborn, Grant Cress, and Tate Noctoborn all took second. Malik Debeau took fifth. Congratulations to boys wrestling on an incredible season. Girls basketball is one step closer to state. They beat Bettendorf by a basket, 45 to 43. They face Ankeny Centennial tomorrow night. The winner of that game advances to the state tournament. The state bowling tournament is happening today in Waterloo. There's a girls golf meeting tonight at 8 p.m. in the food court. And there's a try out informational meeting for our Lim March here. It's tonight at six in the South Commons. Palm tryouts for next season get underway in the LRC gym. They run from 4.30 to 7.30 tonight. That's sports, back to you. Thanks, Leo. And news from the counselors. A rep from the Northwest Iowa Community College will appear in the College and Career Center Friday, March 3rd. Get a pass from the counselor's office and stop by for a visit. Now here's Jacob with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, one of the four teams that makes up Limmer Robotics, Team 4324, Lost in Time, has qualified for the 2023 First Tech Challenge Iowa Championship. This state-level competition will match up 48 of the top teams in Iowa at the Extreme Arena in Corville March 3rd and 4th. The Robotics team qualified for state with their on-field performance at the Eastern Iowa Super Qualifier based on their ranking after qualification matches. They also won second place in the Innovate Award category. Congratulations to them. Tonight in the Arts, two winter orchestra concerts that were supposed to happen Thursday are moved to tonight. At 6 o'clock, it's the first performance featuring Philharmonic and Sinfonietta. Then at 7.30, it's the Concert Orchestra, Excelsior and Oak Ridge 8th Grade Orchestras, and the Symphony Orchestra. Check it out tonight in the Auditorium. And New Renew meets Wednesday morning at 8.15 in room KL104. If there are any questions, contact Mrs. Schumacher or Mrs. Kroc. That's Arts and Clubs. Jacqueline and Corey, back to you. Thanks, Jacob. For lunch downstairs, it's the Wild Mike's Cheese Bites. The other lines offer pizza, salads, or sandwiches. In the food court, it's also Wild Mike's Cheese Bites. For lunch tomorrow, it's a sausage, egg, and cheese combo bar. Your LMTV forecast calls for a mostly sunny day today with a high of 40. Tomorrow looks partly sunny with a high of 34, and Wednesday will bring a wintry mix with a high near 37. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website or check us out on YouTube. Join us again tomorrow. And have a lovely day, Linmar.